Today I will be teaching you how to create a full wig. So first you will need a styrofoam or mannequin head. I'll have links down below as to where you can purchase everything. Next you'll need some hair extensions as well as a closure or a frontal. and I chose a breathable mesh cap because it allows for your hair to breathe underneath your wig. You'll need some T-pins, a comb, and a hair clip. And I didn't add this, but you'll also need a wig tripod or a wig clamp. So first you want to place the cap on the mannequin head and make sure that it's securely placed on. So next I'm grabbing some T-pins and I'm pinning down the wig cap. Now I'm measuring the closure and pinning down the closure to the front of the cap. I'm clipping the excess hair away. So I'm stretching the closure and pinning it down so that way the closure is, is placed on tight. So just pull and pin it down. So I'm showing you guys the rim around the closure. So you only want to sew down on the rim. Don't sew on the rest of the lace, only on the rim. And you only want to sew the sides and the back of the closure. Do not sew the front onto the cap. What I like to do is thread two to three needles so that way the process is a little quicker. I don't have to wait, thread another needle wait thread another needle I'll just grab it and go and if I was using a frontal I would Pretty much do the same exact method and you always want to start off by sewing down the closure or frontal and then sewing the bundles onto the cap So now I'm removing the T-pins that were securing the back and sides of the closure, but I'm leaving the T-pin T-pin in that's a clo that's securing the front of the closure. Next, I'm taking my bundles and these bundles are the Deconci Crown Wave. I will have a link down below as to where you queens can purchase it. So when I'm unraveling the hair, I unravel it bit by bit and pull down so that way I don't tangle or damage the hair. I'm doubling the wefts of the bundles to speed up the process. Um, so first you want to take your needle and thread and thread the cap. So now I'm just sewing the weft onto the elastic part of the cap.
so I proceeded to sew the hair down and right now I'm just showing you the flip over method that I use I don't cut the extensions I already sewed down two bundles um, now I am using my last Deconci bundle and instead of double wefting it and folding the wefts of the hair I am doing a single weft because you don't want for the top to be bulky so by sewing down that one weft it'll make your wig look flat towards the top which is what you want you want to make sure that your hair looks realistic and not so bumpy or rocky you want to make sure that you're sewing your the hair down in a u shape so that way once you get closer to the top you'll already have that same shape that the closure is or the frontal You want to remove the extra material from the cap that is underneath the closure area. Be very careful that you don't remove the stitching that you just sewed down onto the band. And I already bleached the knots of this closure. I'm marking where the closure ends on both sides of my mannequin and I'm taking an elastic band and I'm stretching it and making sure that I have the right measurement for where the closure ends on the right and left. I'm going to sew the elastic band down onto the black material. Do not sew it down onto the closure or frontal. So now all you want to do is style the wig and you are complete. I hope you queens enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.